This video is going to demonstrate the effect of intermolecular forces on physical properties. So first we have a nonpolar solvent. This solvent is capable of only London dispersion forces. That means that it's going to be incompatible with a solvent that is polar. Polar solvent that we'll be using, we have two. We have water on the left and we have ethanol on the right. Both of these solvents are polar. They're capable of hydrogen bonding. So when I combine a polar solvent capable of hydrogen bonding with a nonpolar solvent that is not capable of hydrogen bonding, I will see layers form. And to demonstrate this, we've got some water we'll add to our nonpolar solvent. And we'll also add our ethanol to our nonpolar solvent. In both cases, we see the formation of layers. Let me find the camera. There we go. In both cases, we see the formation of layers. Right? This shows that the polar solvent and the nonpolar solvent are immiscible in each other. There's ethanol, I mean, there's water and our nonpolar solvent, and there's ethanol and our nonpolar solvent. We see formation of layers. This indicates that the two are incompatible with each other. However, when I add my polar solvent to another polar solvent, say I add ethanol to water, then we do not see the formation of layers. So when I do ethanol in water, there's my water that I'm pouring in. Ethanol is already in the test tube. There are no layers that form. They are completely miscible in each other. Solubility is a function of intermolecular forces. If the solubility, I mean, if you see formation of layers, that means that they are insoluble in each other. And if you do not see formation of layers, that means that they are soluble in each other. If the intermolecular forces are incompatible, then the two liquids will not be soluble in each other.